For six years, this so-called keys mystery was not unraveled by the Dijan government. Had they opened the, you know, the the Ratnamandar at that time, this controversy wouldn't have arisen. That why this simple thing was not done for six years. What was the intention? Whose intention? Uh, as you know, Honorable High Court had ordered that Ratnabhandar should be opened and be handed over to ASI for urgent repairs. In nine, 2018, the then collector informed that the keys of Ratnabhandar are missing from the treasury. That's a strange incident. It Normally, treasury is the safest place where the most valuable documents and goods are kept under the surveillance of treasury officer and the collector. Subsequently, uh, the collector made a statement that duplicate keys have been found in the district record room with a sealed envelope and the word duplicate keys perhaps was written on that. That was 2018. Subsequently, as everybody knows, the state government uh, under the instruction of High Court, a commission of inquiry was appointed and Raghuvir Das Commission has given its report already to the state government in the year 2000, uh, I think recently it has been given. Now, a strange situation has arisen. If the government came to know that the keys were missing, this is a very serious matter. So what should have been done is to immediately open the Ratna Vandar, either by using the available keys or by breaking open the locks. That should have been the normal thing to do. However, for the last six years, it did not happen. So obviously, suspicion was created in the minds of crores of devotees of Lord Jagannath that how could this happen and why is the government not taking steps to verify whether the jewelries and ornaments and other valuables are actually there or something has happened. This should have been done, the right, you know, in 2018 itself. So this uh, has created, you know, a very sensational kind of a you know, situation now. Now when BJP uh, Prime Minister came, he had given a clear-cut announcement that if BJP comes to power, then the Ratnavandar will be open and the valuables will be verified. Now soon after the government came, the high-level committee was formed, as you know, and when the high-level committee gave a SOP, Standard Operating Procedure, and the 11 member committee was constituted to go into the Ratnabhandar and find out the situation, the uh, committee headed by no one else than Justice Vishwanath Rath entered the Ratnabhandar in the chamber and has given reports, which is in the public, uh, in, the, in, in the media has already been expressed. He has clearly told that the so-called keys, duplicate keys, or any other keys which the you know the state government or the administration had in mind, and they were telling repeatedly for the last six years that is available, did not fit into the locks. Okay, and then many of the locks were also perhaps open, or not, and the almirahs are not in good condition. That's a pretty serious matter. Anyway, we have uh, yesterday gone into the whole thing in detail and SOP has been finalized so that we will in detail take account of the jewelries and valuables available. Now that is part one. Now ASI has already been handed over the Ratnabhandar, you know, the rooms and they have started their repairs and as you know it's a technical matter and they will do it. In the meantime, temporarily the jewelries have been shifted to a safer place within the that, you know, Ratnabhandar premises because you cannot take it out as per now. Now the point is, when it has been established now that the so-called keys, which were claimed to be keys and duplicate keys, are not actually true. It's a hoax. I don't know why for the last six years this hoax was believed by the Indian government and the Ratnamundar was not open. Okay? As you know that uh, our Bharatiya Naya Sangeeta has three you know, three separate kind of a stages of definition of theft. There is a section 378 which says that if someone 
has the intention to commit theft, it will also be it will also come within the definition of theft. And 379 section says that if somebody has attempted to make a theft, then it is punishable by you know imprisonment of three years and fines, etc. Now think of it, somebody has definitely planned to take away the key from the treasury. That is established now. And those keys are a hoax. That also was proven when the 11 member committee entered into the thing. And Justice Vishwanath Rath has told the media very, very clearly. Now when this has been proven, this has been proved and established, automatically that means there has been a kind of a, some kind of intention to th for committing theft or there is somebody has made a, an, might have made an attempt or he might have failed and perhaps either th thrown the key somewhere in the you know, record room or something. As you know, district record room is not a secure place. It is not guarded. It is meant to store the old files of the collectorate. That's all. So that's not a place where you know, the, the keys could possibly be found. But it has been found. So my uh, observation, it is quite you know, obvious, it is not my personal observation, it is, it is my observation as per the provisions of law that since after the opening of Ratna Bhandar, these facts have come to light, it calls for a, I mean, the, the appropriate uh, you know, level of the government will take a decision what to do about it. After the things are over, if we really find that there is some kind of a shortage, shortage then obviously it will amount to prove that there has been some kind of a kind of a theft or you can say embezzlement or whatever. There is a separate matter. I, we cannot say now. It will wait. But you have doubted that it is a theft? See, it is not a question of doubting. It is not a question of doubting anymore. For six years, this so-called case mystery was not unraveled by the Deedhan government. Had they opened the, the you know, the, the Ratnamandar at that time, this controversy wouldn't have arisen. If in my home, I have kept my ornaments in a particular box, and for some reason that tea gets dislocated, anyone, you and I, will go and approach a, a, a you know this locksmith and get the trees, get get the locks open and verify the, the contents. It's a very usual, normal procedure. Now the suspicion, you know, came that why this simple thing was not done for six years. What was the intention? Whose intention was this? You know, all these things will come. Maybe so I, I of course, you, you cannot rule out. Of course, Justice Vishwanath Rath has given real account and Honorable Minister of Law, he has already told in so many words, okay, that, you know, if this is what comes and you find a kind of a, you know, theft or pilferage or embezzlement, it, you know, the strictest action will be taken. So our Honorable Minister Prithviraj Harichandran has already made a public announcement yesterday. Anybody will say that yes, they should be inquiring to him, I mean, nothing very, this thing. So that was the point I was making yesterday.